Here's an update on my 125 gallon. I'm finally starting to be able to get this huge piece of driftwood to stay under. However, it's not sunken all the way yet. But it's a beautiful piece of driftwood. The angels love it in there. They got their shade and then they got their light areas. And it helps with the current to make sure it's not too strong. And all of these crypts. That's a sword right there, Amazon sword. But all these crypts came from one plant. From that, it was a little five inch plant when I got it. And that was about two years ago. It has exploded and just produced all kinds of propagation. Got it from a buddy, Nick Kaler. Thank you, Nick. Love it. It's real dirty now because I picked that thing up. It was the branch was upside down. I was trying to soak one side of it as much as I could, and then I flip it. So it stirred up because I flipped it over. This is how I want it to look. So from here on out, this will I won't be flipping it again. I've got it to stay under, and uh, that's the way it's going to stay. Man, you don't find driftwood like that. It's just in the local rivers around here. Look at that. It's beautiful. When I got it, I, I cleaned it up, bleached it, rinsed it, dechlorinated it. And it's perfect. Well, that's the newest update on the 125. Give you a glimpse of some of these here fish. Oh, there's my male bristle nose. He's in here with two females. There's the Sturby Corridora. It's getting bigger. Albino Corridora back there. Another one. But yep, that's the newest update. And I can't let you guys go without a glimpse at big guy. Yep. Happy tanks.